Hey guys, I'm A. And I'm J. And, and welcome, welcome to A and J Vlogs. Story 1. The doll that moved at night. My aunt got a doll for her birthday. It was one of these baby dolls. It was a normal baby doll, nothing different from the other dolls. When I went over to her house, she told me the doll moved. We were five or six at the time. I was like, really? It moves? She was like, no, really, it does move. I stayed with her that day and we played all afternoon and night came. She had a bunk bed so we put all her dolls on top of the bed and we slept on the bottom bed. We fell asleep like around nine-ish. The first time I woke up, I heard something coming down the ladder. The ladder was behind our heads, so I had to turn around to see it if I wanted to. But of course, I was too scared to look behind. Especially because that ladder made a lot of noise when someone got down. I closed my eyes and fell back to sleep. The second time I woke up, I heard light footsteps. My aunt had a wood floor, so you can definitely hear when people walked. I closed my eyes again and fell asleep. Now the third time was when I was like, whoa, how did this dog get down here with us? I woke up and saw the dog in between us. That's when I was like, oh my god, this cannot be happening to us right now. I remember she was talking to us. But keep in mind, this doll wasn't a doll that talked, so that was even more creepier. I got my aunt's hand and squeezed it really tight. She squeezed it back and I knew she was awake. After that night, I actually believed her. But of course, nobody believed us. Story 2. Be nice to your dolls. My cousin had a porcelain doll that my uncle gave her for Christmas. She was in a sitting position and had a very creepy smile. One night, she was playing with her doll and her brother came in the room because they shared a room together and told her in a rude way to put up her doll. She put it up but was sad because her brother yelled at her. So they fell asleep and the next day her brother woke her up very scared. He said that he had a dream that they were sleeping in their bed and woke up to find the doll in his chest and choking him. He felt like he couldn't breathe. He said it felt so real. She said that probably happened to you because you yelled at me. Every time her brother saw the doll, he would ask her politely to put her away. Story 3. The Singing Barbie my parents went to my uncle's house for a cookout. I stayed at home because I needed to do my homework for my major that was due the next day. My two sisters went with them, so I was home alone. I was doing my work in the kitchen when all of a sudden I hear someone talking in the bathroom. I was hearing music on my mp3. I paused the song to see if I would hear talking again. Then I heard singing. It sounded like a doll singing. I got up, walked through the hallway into the bathroom and there I saw my sister's Barbie dolls. I was frightened, but not too much, since I knew that my sister had wet her Barbies, so probably that's why she talked and sang out of nowhere and stopped. When she got home, I told her, your Barbie was talking and singing. She said, what? I repeated myself and said, you messed them up by putting them in the water. She looked at me all confused and said, none of my Barbies talk, none of them do. I couldn't believe what she was saying. I heard one of them sing, then if it wasn't one of the Barbies, then who was talking and singing in the bathroom? Well guys, that's the end of our video. Hope you liked it. Send us your creepy dog experiences. DM us on our Instagram. Please like and subscribe. And follow us on Instagram.